What is up YouTube back with another video for some reason I couldn't upload videos so I technically have like two videos to upload so hopefully this uploads onto YouTube the other one didn't so let's get at this real quick if you're new to the channel remember hit that like button and that subscribe button so let's get at this unboxing this early new look unboxing Pay a little extra on StockX to pick these up to give you guys a review. So remember, hit that like button and subscribe button. So let's get at this. Let's open this. So the question here is, how do StockX know these are real if these didn't come out yet, right? So how can they compare an unreleased pair to a retail pair or a real pair? I don't know. But... Comes with the airbag. And these are the Air Jordan 4 tossed away the box. Air Jordan 4 winter. Bang, right there. So it got the QR code on the tag. Um don't know how they know if that's legit. Cause it doesn't even have the price tag on it. And you know most pairs should have the price tag and doesn't even look like oh well the box definitely came from china i wonder if nike china released these already which is weird so i don't even know so let's crack these open real quick air jordan 4 winters the the poor man m ms whatever you guys want to call it well okay these are not bad if you not bad at all StockX tag right there. Hanging StockX tag right here. How do... It, it smells like a normal Jordan 4, so like the smell test you can't really do on these. So... So... I want to see. Alright, so... Bang, bang, pit Came straight from StockX. With the stock X tag. And here are the Air Jordan 4 Winters. Jordan 4 Winters. Toss this box to the side. Bang. Bang. I think the colorway is nice. The material is a different story. Though. At first. Early pairs. I gotta do it for the thumbnail. So, early pairs, the leather is, I mean, leather slash suede is okay. It's supposedly, this shoe is supposed to be winter, uh, winterized fabric on here, material. So, bang. This is supposed to be waterproof. So according to the materials and stuff, the suede hair is winterized. So it's technically waterproof. So I got some water hair. And let's see. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. If, if you guys can see, it beads up. And it actually is waterproof winterized jordan fours it's not really much this kind of reminds me of like a reverse raptor right reverse raptor fours ovos because the bottom i don't think the bottom really changed from a normal jordan four it's just a material no netting like a normal jordan four with netting would be right here but it's like a neo like a I don't even know like a leather slash st sticky material I don't know tongue is different this would be something I will wait until it comes out on retail to buy at retail I don't think these are gonna sell out maybe eventually but the cool thing about these it is waterproof Great pickup, great colorway. Actually, let me pull the Raptor 4s and let's just do a quick comparison of the two. 
Winter 4, Poor Man, M&M's, whatever you guys want to call it. Pull out the insert. Bang, got the Jordan, size 10, size 10 and a half. Um, got the QR code on the inside. If you guys can see that, hopefully you guys can see that. So bang, Winter 4s. Let me grab the Raptor 4s and do a quick comparison. All right, so I grabbed the Raptor 4s and here they are. Bang. What kind of crappy is my pair didn't come with a hang tag or I don't know if it's supposed to come with a hang tag, but mine didn't come with a hang tag, so I don't know. Bang, Jordan 4 compared to the Raptor 4s. If these were like purple and red, I would say I would say these would be the reverse Raptors. Tell me which one you guys like more. I kind of like this colorway better, but let's get at this comparison real quick to a normal Jordan 4. The bottoms are same type of bottoms on a normal Jordan 4. See, like I was saying before, there's netting on a normal Jordan 4, and then there's like this different type of fabric for the net part. Anywhere where the net part is a different. Like you can't even really tell when you first look at it, but then you notice there's no netting compared to normal Jordan 4s. The netting right here. Um, I think that's it. I mean, they called this the Winter 4s because it's waterproof. This, as I just showed you guys, is waterproof. And this material on the tongue supposedly waterproof so instead of getting your shoes dirty during the winter um th these will keep your sh shoes kind of clean because look more water it bounces right off so it is waterproof it will beat up and fall off right there so this is a pretty cool shoe at retail, I would pick up, or even if it go on sale, I would pick up. Depending on how many pairs they make, these are coming on, out on December 2nd. So I would just wait. No need to buy it on StockX. And from the StockX prices of what they showing me, it is showing that it's probably gonna be a lot of pairs. Cause on StockX, these are probably going over, going for $50 over retail. And it's a month early for these pairs, so I don't really know. So, yeah, a month early, December 2nd, and these are only going $50 over retail. So these are probably, this might sit. The hype is not here for these. And just a quick video on the Winter 4s. I don't know if you guys want to own fee of these, because I might actually resell these, buy it back, when they go on sale or go back on retail. So I recruit as much money as I can. So here go to Poor Man M&M's, Winter 4s, December 2nd. Set your calendars. And remember hit that like button and subscribe button. Quick little Winter 4, boom, bang. See you guys in the next video. Peace, I'm out.